In honor of Black History Month, PBS is presenting a special in-depth look at the history of gospel music during a special two-night event hosted by Henry Louis Gates, Jr. <laughs> From the blues to hip-hop, African Americans have driven sonic innovation for more than a century. While styles have changed, there's one sound that's remained constant, a source of strength and courage, comfort and wisdom. Gospel. That's a little bit of gospel. Gospel music is soul. Gospel music is R&B. Gospel music is funk. It's hip hop. Gospel music is the full spectrum in terms of its sound of black music and beyond. For generations, gospel music and preaching have formed the bedrock of the black religious experience. The sound still connects people. The sound still gathers people. These astonishing art forms, caring and enduring tradition, continue to evolve. Do you think there will always be gospel music 100 years from now? I don't see how we can thrive without gospel music. That's right. I say it's going to always be there forever. This is the powerful story of gospel. The four-part special will air on back-to-back -back nights, Monday, February 12th, and Tuesday, February 13th here on Mountain Lake PBS. And then the entire series will be rebroadcast back to back on Sunday afternoon, February 18th. Some of the members of the Plattsburgh State Gospel Choir performed just a couple of weeks ago at the Martin Luther King Jr. Commemoration on the SUNY Plattsburgh campus. The choir's director, Dr. Dexter Chris, is hosting a gospel festival this spring and inviting high school students from across northern New York and Vermont to attend the two-day event in April, both on the SUNY Plattsburgh campus and at the historic Strand Center for the Arts Theater in downtown Plattsburgh, where students will perform with the Plattsburgh State Gospel Choir. It'll be our second one. Our first one was in 2019. Uh, this one will be April 19th and 20th, 2024. Open to high schools, that's our target, usually seventh graders up. It's what we're looking for. Um, and it's, it's, it's called Honors Festival, not because it's like the best, but we want those students to understand it's a very special moment and it's an honor to be a part of the festival. They'll have an experience that is extremely unique, especially for this area. They will be able to take the sacred music of the gospel music um, with all the choral classical pieces. Um, it'll be uh, about 125 students that's our goal. The guest of honor for the festival will be Dr. Raymond Wise, who is a gospel music composer and the director of the Indiana University African American Choir. Dr. Wise, who is regarded as a gospel music scholar, was the guest conductor for the Crane School of Music's 2022 Candlelight Concert at SUNY Potsdam. I met Raymond, oh, maybe in 2003. Uh, at a convention I go to called Gospel Music Workshop of America. And I took a class with Raymond uh, about how to operate a gospel choir in an academic setting. And I was totally blown away. Dr. Weiss and the pianist that we're bringing in, uh, David Powell, they are world class. And we would love for people to come on the SUNY Plattsburgh campus, practice with Raymond, and then we're gonna do the whole thing in the Strand. Uh, April 19th to 20th. Area BOCES are helping schools to offset the cost for students who want to attend the festival. The students will put on a performance along with the full Plattsburgh State Gospel Choir on the stage at the Strand Theater on April 20th, a concert that will be open to the public. You can find out more information on the SUNY Plattsburgh Gospel Choir website and Facebook page. 